All right, Shalom. This is uh, Yai Club with the GMS Dallas Camp. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, and Kwaku Dash. Uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone who teach them real well. And uh, salutations to the IPM scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, keeping his word in truth and sincerity. Um, I'm just going to do a quick video on Psalms, the 15th chapter. You know, it's a short, it's a short, it's a short chapter, but, um, you know, uh, Lord willing, I'll bring up some, some precepts. I got a few already, um, in mind. So, you know, this is, uh, Psalms 15 verse one. It says a Psalm of David. Okay. It says, uh, Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? You know, so he's asking a question. You know, who's going to abide in, in thy tabernacle or in thy holy hill, man? You know, and it, and it will tell you, and it's going to tell you what, what, uh, attributes that, uh, what kind of attributes that person is going to have that's going to be, uh, that's going to, um, abide in those things. You know, that reminds me of, uh, Psalms, the 91st chapter. Let's see, uh, Get it real quick. Psalms 91. All right. And then it's acting kind of slow right now. You know, because the Psalms 91 first chapter goes into that. You know, we start at 9, 9, Psalms 91 verse 1. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my power, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from, noise and, and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and, his under, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler, man. So if you abide in that, in the Most High's holy hill, and in His tabernacle, you know, in them secret chambers, like the uh, like uh, song, uh, the Song of Solomon talks about. You know, what I'm saying the Most High, you're gonna be uh, uh, protected, man, from the Most High. You know, because the scriptures talk about uh, how the lamp is a light. You know, what I'm saying we 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 went into that last night at camp, actually. Y'all uh, get that real quick. But before we get the characteristics of. Uh, well, before we get what type of person is going to abide in those things, I just want to show you the benefits of, um, man, I'm tripping. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh. Um, the benefits of, 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 of being in that, uh, under the, under the wing of the most high, man. All right. Cause not just anybody can, um, not just anybody can be under that, under that wing. You know, we, not just anybody can just be under the wing of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? Not just anybody can be in that tabernacle or on that holy hill, like we read in Psalms the 15 chapter. You know what I'm saying? Just because you, you uh, believe in Jesus Christ and that's it, doesn't mean that those things that we just read in Psalms the 91st chapter will will apply to you. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's, more, there's more to it, man. All right? So I'm gonna read this. Let's see. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I think it's a uh, Proverbs twenty-four chapter. Let me check on my my, my scriptures real quick. Oh, okay, so like it's actually the the sixth chapter. It says. Uh, we start at verse uh, is it chapter six? Lock it in one second. I'm just trying to make sure here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tripping. Yeah, it's right here. It's, it's more down right here. It says, uh, my son, uh, yeah, verse 20 says, My son, keep thy father's commandment, and forsake not the law of thy mother. Bind them continually upon the, thine heart, and tie them about thy neck. 
when thou goest, it shall lead thee. When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. And when thou awakest, it shall talk with thee, man. And, and that's what you got to do, man. You got to uh, bind this truth around thy neck. You know what I'm saying? The law of session, you got to keep the law of session commandments that the Most High uh, gave gave unto us, man, to the best of your ability. You know, like brothers say, there's conditions to this thing. You know, just because you, you believe in Jesus and believe in a higher power doesn't mean that you're good. And, or and go to a sun, a Sunday church every Sunday. You know, there's a, a criteria you got to meet. You know what I'm saying? So, and then we're about to get it in Psalms 15 chapter. But I just wanted to show you uh, the benefits of being in that tabernacle on that holy hill. You know, uh, verse 22 it says, When thou goest, it shall lead thee, and when thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. And when thou wakest, it shall talk with thee. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproves and instruction are the way of life, man. And that's right, man. Because like, like it says in Psalms 23rd chapter, you know, we in the valley of the shadow of death. You know what I'm saying? We we under that shadow here in America, man. But with this truth, it is it's like, it, you know, it, it likened it, the, you know, the commandment, it likened the commandment as, as a lamp, you know, and the law is light. You know what I'm saying? So... With that, man, we were able to maneuver and and see things that other people can't see, you know, because they under they under that strong delusion, you know, under under that uh that, you know that darkness, you know. And, uh, you can keep reading, you know, to keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman, you know, and that's twofold, man. That could be talking about an actual woman, and it could be talking about a uh, well, it's mostly talking about a uh, 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 philosophies, man. Because the scriptures liken this truth unto a woman and the other philosophies that you know as well. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah, but but this but this book, you know, the Bible, scriptures, you know what I'm saying? These these this uh, is as a, as a lamp and a light to the elect. You know, to keep us from them other philosophies and other and them other doctrines, man. And we gotta uh, hold ourselves to a certain standard. You know, present ourselves in a way that uh, separates us from the rest of the world. You know? So I'm going to read this. Back in Psalms 15, chapter, it says, uh, second verse, it says, He that, well, I'm, I'm starting from the top. It says, Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? All right. He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. He that backbiteth not with his tongue nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor. You know, so it's giving you examples of the, of the type of per, of type of man that is going to abide in that tabernacle, in that holy hill, you know what I'm saying, in, that, in, that, uh, in those secret chambers, all right? All right, um, and then when it goes in talking about your neighbor, it's not talking about your actual physical neighbor that lives across the street or next door or the apartment next to you. It's talking about... Uh, um, your neighbor, you know, your brother, your neighbor in his truth. You know what I'm saying? Just because Esau decided to call the person that lives next to you a neighbor doesn't mean that it's Ty actually talking about that, man. You got to, you got to, um, you know, you got to have that understanding, you know what I'm saying? But as a matter of fact, oh shit, it's a lot of me to do that. Get that word neighbor. says friend companion fellow another person friend intimate fellow fellow citizen another person we can sense or other uh, another it says uh, but much more in use uh, a companion a friend with whom one has intercourse implying companion friend comments so said a lower beloved woman and the other person it says uh, you know what I'm saying but you know, a, a somebody, a neighbor, be in this truth. You know what I'm saying? Like it says, um, for the more, uh, let's see, for much more than you, so companion, a friend. You know what I'm saying? Companion, a friend, man. You know what I'm saying? And and what do you? How should I say, man? He said, "Ye are my friends, uh, if you do what I say." I believe, roughly paraphrasing. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Just so I, I want to make sure that the.
Now let's see. Uh, Give me one second. I want to make sure that's what I. Uh, Okay, here we go. It's like you. It's a short verse. It says, "Ye are my friends if you do whatever, whatsoever I command you." You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know what I'm saying? If you do what the Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai told us to do, man, then we are his friends, man. We are his neighbors. You know, like you said in the book, uh, in, the, in the book of Luke. You know, uh, who is my mother, my father, my brother, my sister? You know what I'm saying? He that is, uh, is that does the will of the Most High. This is this very same as my mother, brother, sister, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, you know, going back to uh, John the 15th chapter. Oh, not select, not, not John. Uh, Psalms 15 chapter, let's see. Uh, all right, I'm going to read verse 2 again. He that walketh, uh, verse 3, it says, He that backbiteth not his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor. So, you know, because the scriptures also talk about uh, um, showing charity, man. You know, being charitable to your brother, man. Now, if you look up that word in the Greek, it means uh, to show uh, love and affection towards your brother, man. You know, you got, uh, you know, that's why Yahweh Shai said in Matthew, um, he that call, uh, they call it a brother, a fool. You know what I'm saying? Is is in danger of hellfire, man. You gotta, you, you can't, you know, you can't just be treating your brother like every other person in in this world, man. You gotta, you gotta treat him a certain way in this truth, man, because he's in, you know, he's in this thing with you, with, with with you too. You know, he's out there in the highways and byways, doing his videos, reading. You know, he he <clears throat> he out here fight fighting for the same thing you fight, man. So you gotta show him a, a, a type of respect. You know what I'm saying? But uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and read. Uh, Psalms the fourth verse it says, In whose eyes a vile person is contemned, but he honoreth them that fear the Lord, he that sweareth to his own hurt and changeth not, he that putteth not out his money to usury, nor take a reward against the innocent, he that does these things shall never be moved, man. So we gotta hold man, we gotta hold ourselves to a certain standard, man. Like the elders say, um, you know, we are we are at, we are at, you know, really we are upstanding citizens, man. We are the best type of person that you could ever meet in this world, man. Cause we we don't um, we don't um, we don't do things like the worldly man would do, man. You know, we we want we're not gonna we're not gonna uh, uh, try and uh, scheme on your woman. You know what I'm saying? And try and commit adultery with her. You know, we're not gonna steal from you. You know what I'm saying? We're not gonna uh, try and uh, uh, get at you know get over you. You know, like it says right there, I gave you that example of being a, uh, he that put not out his money to usury. You know, we're not going to tax the hell out of you when we uh, 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 when we lend you money or anything. You know what I'm saying? You know, hey, man, we that's why scripture talk about being uh, showing that charity, man, towards your brother, man. Because, again, you got to remember that uh, usury is in the in the uh, is forbidden in the law, man. That's wicked. But hey, Esau, man, he'll do all everything contradicting this, these scriptures, man. That's why we hold ourselves uh, uh, to the standard of, of, of these scriptures, man, to the word of Yahweh Hashem You know what I'm saying? We we uh, we are that light of the world, man. We we put setting ourselves apart from from all these things. There's another scripture I wanted to get. Um, let's see. Okay, uh, you know what? Yeah, let's get that one. Let's get that one. Um, I'm going to go to First John. Chapter 2. 
We all know this one. Uh, this is uh, John 2 and 15, 1 John 2 and 15. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world, man. So everything that's in this world, man, is of the flesh. And all the things that go on, all the things that you see in your daily lives, and all the, all the things that people say and do is normal here, man. But according to the scriptures, it's all wicked, man. That's why we got to... Uh, uh, that's why in Psalms 15 it talks about the the attributes that the, that that men are gonna have in order to abide in that tabernacle. You know they're not gonna have the, the attributes of the world, but the attributes of the Most High, man. You know, and I believe Paul talked about that. You know, what I'm saying uh, in First Corinthians, I believe either the first or second chapter. But uh, let's see for. Uh, See, and it says it right here, verse 17. It says, And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abide forever, man. And that's what we uh, uh, that's what we look for, man. We know that being that type of person that the scriptures talk about will have those benefits. You know, the kingdom, living, living a, 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 you know, uh, having a, that eternal life, bringing, ushering in, in the kingdom, to where our, our people are going to live a life, uh, a good life, you know? A life better than what we got to have here, man. No more death, no more sorrow, no more crying, no more having to deal with bills, no more going to work, you know? Our children can run around without having to worry about them running into a pedophile or getting uh, uh, turning into a, homo, a homosexual and all that. You know, we're not going to have to worry about that. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be those men, those type of men that we we read in uh, Psalms of 15 chapter uh, that are going to uh, bring those, that are going to uh, hold that standard up, man. All right. And it says, uh, I'm going to read this. It says, Revelation 14 to 5, it says, In their mouth was found no gal, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. Okay. So like, I'm going to start up. Okay. Uh, okay, Revelation 14 and 3 says, And they sung it as if it were a new song before the throne, and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth, man. And we sing that new song right now, man. We sing that new song uh, uh, with, this, with these scriptures, man, through this wisdom. You know what I'm saying? And when it says uh, no man could learn that song, it's talking about these other, other people, man, that ain't going to be able to get it. Not gonna be able to understand what we're talking about. Not gonna uh, uh, abide in that, willing to abide in that tab tabernacle, and hold themselves up, uh, with, uh, uh, like it descri uh, described in the uh, Psalms of 15 chapter. All right, verse uh, four it says, "These are they which are not defiled with women, for they are virgins." Now, are they actually talking about actual virgins, like you never had sex? No, it's talking about um, uh, um, them philosophies. You know, them them women, man. We were. Uh, you know, we were uh, uh, not willing to give ourselves up to them other doctrines and philosophies of the world. You know what I'm saying? Verse, uh, this is, uh, these are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. All right. Uh, so like I'm read that again. And in them I was found no God, for they were without fault before the throne of the Most High, man. You know, and with this truth, man, we cleansed of everything that we've done in this world. You know what I'm saying? That's how we become, uh, uh, we are, uh, that's how we are found without fault before the throne of the Most High. All right? You know, and that's, uh, like I was saying, man, and that's what we we hoping for, man. That's why in Revelation 13 chapter, it says that these are this is the patience and the faith of the saints. You know, this is this is what we're waiting for, man. This is what uh, uh what we hope for. You know what I'm saying? For uh, uh you know, for us to be able to uh, uh establish that 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 um you know the kingdom and establish that judgment 
and uh, uh, renew the world and put these heathens in, under that subjection, man, because under the rulership of Esau, man, the so-called white man, everything is all fucked up, man. The, hey, Esau don't hold up, hold himself up to, uh, is not willing to uh, um, go back to it real quick. He's not willing to do all these things, man. He's not willing to uh, walk uprightly, man. You know, all he knows is wickedness. And the left hand side. So and and you know what I'm saying the scriptures talk about how the most high was gonna raise up men in, in the last days uh um to uh to walk in that in that in his in that in that in that path, you know what I'm saying, in that path of righteousness, you know, who are willing to go through these things. You know what I'm saying? But uh hey, you know, with that I'm gonna say uh Shalom, Lord, Lord brother Lord willing, brothers were edified. Shalom.